In the breathtaking yet rugged hills of Meghalaya, life has its own rhythm, one shaped by nature and often by isolation. For years, the mothers and children in these remote regions faced a daunting challenge. The unique climate and terrain of Meghalaya, the dispersed population and infrastructure that does not efficiently adapt to these context-specific conditions make healthcare access difficult and expensive to the community. These conditions are compounded by climate change effects like harsher winters, summers, and monsoons. Increasing intensity and frequency of disasters like storms, landslides, and cyclones. Many women, particularly expectant and new mothers, endure long, difficult journeys to distant maternal and child healthcare facilities. Health workers, like the dedicated auxiliary nurse midwives at sub centers, face their own struggles, battling cold stress in winters by using unsafe methods to warm rooms trying to maintain hygiene without a consistent water supply, use of unconventional methods due to lack of access to reliable power med tech infrastructure and lack of optimum space for conducting medical procedures efficiently. Then and in the middle of the dressing, then the power is up. Then we have to uh, search for the mobile. Over the years, the government of Meghalaya has been constantly making efforts towards strengthening maternal and child health care in the state through multiple programs at the state, regional and local levels. So there are two aspects to it. One is construction of a climate resilient uh, labor room in sub-centers. So we need to encourage people to come to sub-centers for their delivery. That way, the, the institutional deliveries can take place closer to their home. That will increase our institutional deliveries. Simultaneously, these are climate resilient structures. So, not only they are solar powered, entire structure, but simultaneously it has been designed in a way that the, uh, the temperature inside these labor rooms will be slightly cooler, as lower as compared to the surroundings and hence it will make the uh, pregnant mothers more comfortable. Simultaneously, the machines that are deployed there, for example, radiant warmers, they are also solar powered. So the idea is that it will provide seamless service uh, in a very comfortable environment at a place which is closer to their home. In 2022, the district administration in Rebhoi Meghalaya allocated funds available under the aspirational district program by Niti Ayog towards setting up of eight labor rooms in various health and wellness sub-centers in the district to improve maternal and child health care at the last mile. Salco Foundation collaborated with the district administration to integrate climate adaptive building design strategies, decentralized renewable energy, along with energy efficient medical technology to make these facilities more reliable and sustainable. The labor room, uh, you know, it has a, a waiting area for the uh, for the family to wait, especially when the mother goes in for delivery. And we also have a room post recovery, which is very rare, especially in a government facility, to have a post recovery room for a mother after she delivers the baby. The challenges that once kept women away from accessing institutional deliveries and healthcare is now addressed with these new facilities. These new facilities are more reliable, accessible and climate adaptive with features like insulated walls, reflective roofing, natural light and ventilation that create a comfortable healing environment. <laughs> ไรรับชิบุนเนี่ยนับตาตะเมมันยารับบันไข่คลุกีบาลาเป็นยารับชิบุนเนี่ยอยากกินทานอมร้อยจงงี้กินสงสนองจงงี้ในบ้านเราค
ban kha khlung ne te ngawat sindan hung ne hi ha ga jing sem jong a te ka long biang hi ki jaka pun sai khlung e ki ka biang hi na dong sadam now well, from this year we get this uh, solar then e e no need for us to think about the electricity Today, eight new labor rooms stand in the hills of Rebhai district, ready to serve the community at the last mile. These are not just buildings, they are lifelines. Places where mothers can bring new life into the world with dignity, safety and care.